Hey guys, how's it going? It's Alpha here. And today I'm going to do kind of a quick, well actually it might not be too quick, tutorial on how to easily uh, S-rank dungeons. Now this isn't going to work for all of them, but a lot of the dungeons that come in that will give you the opportunity to S-rank have the highest, um, the highest level at Master or um, uh, maybe Expert. I mean most of them that this works great on our master and I mean you'll see you, you'll see how it works so okay we have right now dark carnival going on so dark carnival um, you can see it's the example I was talking about basically you have a 40 stamina master level uh, dungeon and one of the things that most people don't know and I didn't know this for a long time is that the biggest factor that affects S rank is the rarity of your cards. Um, now obviously the amount of turns you take and your average combo count are the other factors, but the biggest one that affects it is the rarity. So check this out. We're actually gonna hop out of pad and go to this. Now this site is a, a godsend for me. It's tamadra.com backslash S rank. Right, so if you go to that You'll see right now, I already have this stuff loaded up here. Um, Dark Carnival's there. You need 150,000 to S rank uh, this dungeon. So you can see there's some sliders here that will give you your score. So right now, I set it to what I think is like stupid level safe, right? So if you look at the screen, we're looking at four average combos, 15 turns, it's a five floor dungeon, so we're saying three turns per floor is okay, and a total rarity of 21. Now, now watch what happens when I mess with this, right? So if I put the total rarity up to even 24, it drops the score down to 118, right? So even, let's, let's say we, we bump up our combo count. Look at how high, okay, so if we average about six and a half combos, then we can S rank with a 24 uh, cost team right so and, and even that it's that is um, uh, you know some five stars and six stars right so it's that's that's a pretty kind of normal team not even like a top level team um, if you went up even higher and let's say you know your total rarity is 30 right so that just means you have a full team you have five six star monsters then you're looking at you know let's say you've got to drop your turns down to 10, so two to be safe. And look how high your average combo now, you've got a combo over eight every single turn um, in order to get that S rank. So kind of the, the easy way to do it, what I have it at 21, and let's go all the way down to derp level. Derp, derp, okay. Um, all right, so let's get that turn count up even. We could go even, what, 16 turns with 21 rarity, averaging four combos. Okay, so let's hop in, let's make that team. We need 21 rarity. So don't forget your friend leader counts in your rarity. Um, so let's hop back into pad. We're gonna go and rebuild this team, right? So let's say, select that once, let's clear it on off. So we've got Erd. Um, and now I've got my special little S rank squad. They don't get to hang out with all the favorite monsters. You know, I'm kind of a jerk like that. But they, you know, they, they hold their own. They don't get evoed, so that they should be uh, they should be happy about that. Um, okay, so here's here's the uh, the derp squad. And where is? Oh shoot! You know what? I fed away. Uh, oh man, I had a dude, and I think I fed him away by mistake. Uh, well, there you go. I, I get to eat my words. Um, shoot, I had a two-star goblin that I had skilled up. Maybe I put him in my, my actual favorites. Let me see, so I didn't feed him away. You know, I just had an issue where I farmed, um, no, he wouldn't be all the way up here, right? Uh, I farmed Dark Izanami all day. Well, Izanami descended. Got a ton of Dark Izanamis to skill up my Dark Izanami, and I forgot to favorite one to get Awoken Yomi. So I'm, uh... You know, not too happy about that. That's that one hurts. Okay, so unfortunately, I am uh, what they call stupid. So I don't have my nice my guy that I had been building up. I don't know what the hell I did with him. Um, 
Oh, you know what it was? I, I actually rolled a Titan. So I'm going to get these little guys. So look at this guy. He's, he's one star, right? One star rarity. Um, so if we go, so Erd is one, two, three, four, five, six. So if I fill that up there, that's 10. That's only 10 stars if I fill it up with those Will-O-Wisps. And then the other uh, Erd friend that bumps it to 16. So that's literally like beat the dungeon, you have an S rank. That's kind of like the secret here, right? Um, let's see, I might put in, um, where is that, that, I think I, I evolved that guy, I guess, so I think he's, uh, already too much. Let's see, how's this guy? He's three. Yeah, see, he's a four, um, which I, I, I could use, I could get away with that. Um, let's see, oh, and one other thing, if you leave people off your team, it will raise your, like, don't think you could run, um, a six star lead, a six star friend, and no subs. That gives you a six star average. Um, for whatever reason, it, it will fill it all in. You won't have a 12 total score. At least I'm, that, that's the experience I've got. Okay, so let, let's finish building this so I can actually hop in here and stop blabbing. Um, you know, I, th I think we're just gonna hop in and go with our super derp team of um, a whole bunch of will o -Wisps. Let's see, let's just make sure we use a Hypermax friend um right so there so and you could check um rarity total rarity 10 okay so let's go ahead and hop in to master and let's go ahead we're going to use big j's uh big j's erd okay let's set this down we got the, the stylus ready and let's see i i even forget what the heck is in this dungeon. Now you still want to try and get some combos, you know, don't take it for granted um, that you've got this set up. Oh wow, it would have helped if I matched those uh, reds. Well, there's a turn wasted. <laughs> That's what I get for trying to do things uh, live instead of heavily edited so I could uh, cover up all my mistakes. Okay. Let's see. So these guys, I forget what's, what's in this dungeon. I, I ran the beginning because um, I had a bunch of stamina I had to burn through, and then I haven't done anything since then. Um, so, I mean, I, I'm really... <sighs> okay, so that guy's got some defense. Let's, uh, let's break it down with the TPA. Um... I mean, my goal here is to not do what I just did right there, um, which is leave myself with not enough red orbs to do an attack. Um, kind of stupid, but we're just going to match up whatever we can here to... Um, to hopefully generate some red orbs. There we go. We got enough for an attack. Um, unfortunately... That Shieldra's got his high defense, so I'm not going to be able to break that. One thing I can do, though, I could uh, just match up enough to, again, you know, try and make some um, generate the red orbs for next turn. There we go. We got our, at least our three red orbs. Uh, I don't know how much this guy hits, but I'd rather not find out. Um... Ah, I could have got that last match. Um, there we go. We got a six. That'll take him out for sure. Uh, let's see. I'm already looking at the board. All right. We got some Pierre draws or whatever they're called. Um, Ah, I couldn't pull that light over in time. I'm not a very fast uh, combo, or it, it definitely, uh... ooh, that guy's not dead. Okay, a TPA would have been better. Why don't we go ahead and do that just to be sure we um, get rid of that dude. I do not have him hanging around. There we go. Um, shoot, this, uh, this other dude's gonna attack now, too. I'm not gonna take him out. Oh! What a jerk. Alright, well, hmm. 
What stage is this? Four out of five. Oh, okay. That doesn't matter much. That's up in two turns. So we can, um, I'm pretty sure there's no preemptive on this. So we can just go ahead and, uh, and probably, oh wow, that was not, oh uh, whatever, I'm just going to use a skill next turn. Uh, I forget how many, um, what's it called? Flame chaser, or whatever, dark chaser. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, what? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Son of a bitch. Okay, not only am I not going to do awesome making combos, but what the hell happened with that board, man? Crap! <laughs> well, hopefully this dude isn't going to kill me. Um, that would be pretty anticlimactic here. Just so you know, you do have to uh, live through the dungeon in order to get the S rank. Um, okay, I got a little nice skyfall of a red. Let's see if that'll be enough. I don't know. We got two 297 attacks. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I guess, you know, we got a little lucky with the sky falls, but man, sometimes Erd will just get you. You know, that's why I like, I don't know, my actual Erd teams have board correctors. You know, both Hino and Zhao Zhao will turn those blue orbs into red. Um, and then I normally run with um, a Gygus. Well, if I'm farming a Gygus, who will obviously turn the, the hearts into red. Okay, so let's, let's check out our moment of truth here. We ran our, our dirt cheap team. Um, and you can see if, if that top score thing doesn't show up. Oh, there we go. I got my stones. I hadn't done that before. I wanted to do this live. Um, if I didn't, I probably would have chose a better run where I didn't screw up and uh, uh, just about die. Um, there we go. When it automatically puts you to the score screen, that means you got S rank. Okay. And the best part about getting an S rank is... Tamadra. Free Tamadra. Woohoo! People ask how to get Tamadras. Um, this is probably the easiest way, easiest guaranteed way to get a Tamadra. Um, anyways, guys, just wanted to show that because um, a lot of people, um, you know, I see people post all the time, oh, I got my first S rank, and they've got a fully decked out Bastet team that they hit like 8, 9 combo average with, and that is definitely one way to do it. Uh, I'm not good enough to do that. I know people just starting off aren't good enough to do that, but everyone likes Tamajos. So hopefully this helps you guys out and it's something that you can use to get those awakenings for your monsters and build some stronger teams. Anyway guys, if you enjoy this, please like and subscribe. I'll try and come out with some uh, more useful videos. I always try and post up some descend clears and uh, every once in a while some nice rem pulls. Um, I'll see you next time guys. Take care.